I've always wanted to learn Braille, and when I was a little girl, I used a piece of cardboard and a punch to teach it to myself. I've forgotten what I learned from back then, but I'm at the OFA booth with Jane Jung, and she's got a, a tool in front of me here to help teach children or early Braille learners, we should just call them, uh, learn to, to read and write in Braille. Is that correct? Yeah, Taptilo is created to make Braille learning fun and easy for the Braille starters who still have issues when they started learning Braille. So it has five, it has nine Braille cells with Braille display and it has nine Braille blocks. So anyone can practice reading and writing at the same time. So what we're looking at is something maybe uh, one and a half times, or about the size of an extended keyboard, maybe. Yes. And there's, uh, there's, you said there's nine cells, meaning nine sets of six things that are going to bump up at me to read. Yes. But above each one, there's a little uh, turquoise box that has cells also. And what do those do? Uh, th this is we call Braille block. It can be detached and attached really easily with magnetic. And this Braille block has six dots also, and the dots can be pushed up. And it has tick-tick sound like this. So students can practice Braille, braille writing with this, with this Braille block. Okay, so if, if the letter A comes up down below, yeah. then you, on, on the reader part, you take out the block, you make, you make the same symbol, and that's how you're learning that, that's with the, that making that is writing and, and reading it is with your fingers. Yeah, that's correct. You just pick up the block and make the same pattern. You can write by yourself. Okay, so now this is also connected over Bluetooth to your phone, is that correct? Yes, we have our own app. It is named Taptilo 4.0. It is free. You can download it any any app store you use. And Taptilo device and Taptilo 4.0 could be connected through Bluetooth. And I just connected with our app and my device. Yeah, now the device serial number just showed that what kind of device you're connected now and we have the same contents in here and also device so when i choose the topic braille oh now I so we're looking at the uh she's got an internet connection thing yeah it's always hard in one of these rooms yeah but when the contents is shown on this app Taptilo's Braille will refresh right away to show that content. So you could you, you would be typing on on the uh, on the app on the phone. Uh, we have all pre-made pre-made curriculums and contents in it, so no more typing is needed. But based on students' interest or learning progress, customized contents are really needed. So you can also create your own lesson just pressing the plus button here and you can see that you can import word list from spreadsheet or you can add any words by yourself and when the word is added on this app and you can tap the word here it'll, it'll show it right away so what happens if a word has more than nine characters in it oh from now on we, we only have nine cells so it is limited to add if the word has more than nine letters. I was just thinking when you get into custom dictionaries, it gets interesting. What if you wanted to learn medical terms? I mean, if you were a doctor yeah. who had just just started to lose vision or lost vision, how would you do that? But yeah, this is this is interesting. I like the idea of these little blocks because they do come off real easily. They're, they're yeah. uh, whoops, I'm kind of clumsy there with my left hand, but they're, they're fun to click too. Make yeah. good fidget, fidget toys while you're on a conference call, if yeah, you're on mute. <laughs> This is very neat. So the Taptilo, uh, T-A-P-T-I-L-O, yes, one L. Right. And uh, where would we find this? Uh, you can find it. You can just search on the Google or you can visit our website, www.taptilo.com. Or you can contact on the, in the email address that is you can see on that website also. Okay, very good. This is, uh, this is pretty interesting. I like to see stuff like this. I keep wanting to go back and learn Braille for real. Thank you.